Rob Kenny is dad to two adult kids and another three million online. He wants to make sure everyone has a strong father figure in their lives. Why? Because he never had one growing up. But if there was nothing that you Author, sure entrepreneur, what? and YouTube sensation Rob Kenny was parentless at only 13 years old. When he married and had kids, he vowed to teach them how to grow into successful adults, and he didn't stop there. Rob also decided to help fatherless kids learn the basic skills of life by making how-to YouTube videos. Three million followers later, he shares his inspirational story in his book, Dad, How Do I? And Rob Kenny joins us now via Skype. Rob, welcome to the 700 Club. Oh, thank you so much for having me on. Well, at first glance, it looks like you had an, an idyllic family. Your parents had eight children. Your mom had been a teacher. Your father had a dream job with NASA. When and where did things go wrong? Yeah, I think it was the moves. You know, um, I'm one of eight kids, and I'm number seven. And my dad and mom started out really well. You know, we were in Kansas, and um, but then the work dried up there. And so my dad moved us to um, New Orleans and then a couple years, and that's where I was born in New Orleans. And then um, uh, my dad saw another opportunity up in Seattle. And so then we moved clear up here. And I think my mom, it took a toll on my mom. You know, I think she saw, cause she's one of 12 uh, siblings. And wow. so I think she saw her life being different, you know, staying around and raising us amongst uh, all the cousins. So your parents divorced, your dad got full custody. What was it like living with your father? Yes, yeah, so he got custody, buddy. You know, I, I don't. I think he felt like he was trying to do the right thing because my mom was considered uh, unfit; she wasn't able to take care of us. So he got custody, but he actually, um, we were left to kind of fend for ourselves for a time. Um, and then he finally made it official when he came home and said he was done raising kids. Um, and he said the older siblings are going to have to take in the, the younger siblings, or we were going to go to foster home. Um, yeah, so I went to live with my brother at that time when I was 14. Oh my gosh, Rob, I mean, your own dad was threatening foster home on you. How did that, how did you feel? It was tough, you know, it was really, really hard and it's resentment that I carried along, you know, for a number of years and I share that in my book. Um, but then the whole, you know, that saying about forgiveness, I ended up forgiving my dad um, because I realized it was in my own best interest. You know, um, when somebody made that statement of, you know, uh, unforgiveness is like drinking poison and somehow it's hurting the other person. It was killing me. You know, I needed to be able to forgive him. And as a believer myself, I, you know, I had to grapple with the fact that I've been forgiven much. How can I hold it against my dad? Yeah, so good. All right. So let's fast forward. You, you got married. You had a child on the way. Then you lost your job and you couldn't be a provider. What was going on with you during that difficult time? Yeah, that was tough. I was a little bit of agnostic towards uh, the Lord. You know, I was raised, we were raised Catholic and, you know, I kind of walked away from what I, you know, I, I kind of threw the baby out with the bathwater, so to speak. And, you know, uh, and then I cried out to God from a skeptic's um, vantage point and ended up, uh, you know, he, everything started falling into place. I'm like, wait a second. That was terrifying. You know, I, I compare it to the time when uh, the apostles are in the boat and Jesus is asleep <laughs> and they, they wake him up because the storm's crazy. And then, then he calms the storm and then they were very afraid. You know, they were afraid <laughs> of the storm and they're even more afraid when they realized what, who Jesus was. And it was, that was like that for me. Rob, what are some of the things that you kept in mind as you were raising your own children? I wanted to include them in everything. You know, it's, you, when you have kids, it, it, sometimes it's easier, to, a lot of times it's easier to do it yourself, you know, but I tried to include them because I wanted them to be empowered. And that's what I try to share on my channel too. I want people to be empowered and, and encouraged. You know, I think as believers, we're called to love God and love people. You know, I, I, it, it's as simple as that. You know, you're supposed to love your neighbor as yourself. Um, well, let me and ask so you this real I, quick. I'm sorry to interrupt, but how did the how did the dad how do I YouTube channel get started? Yeah, it was something you know. So I talked to my adult kids all the time, and you know, it's something I could have used. You know, YouTube wasn't around when I was a kid, but I thought I you know wanted to try to help 30 or 40 people. I had no idea it would resonate on the level that that it is. You know, people watching me tie a tie and 
and crying from watching me tie a tie because it's just the dad moment that mm. you know maybe they never had or then you know they miss because maybe their dad has passed. I have I call my siblings my kids and I have 80 year old kids <laughs> coming <laughs> on my channel and saying thanks dad. <laughs> oh that's beautiful. Well you have a variety of videos but what is the best piece of advice that you want to share Rob? Yeah, I think my big thing is thinking long term, you know, with my, uh, you know, with my family, um, with because I can speak from personal experience, you know, when my dad left, it, he didn't just go away and everything's fine. You know, there was people left behind that had to pick up uh, the mess that was left, like my brother, you know, going to live with him. And that's what I share in my book. I think my book, people think it's a how to and it kind of is a how to. But the first part is actually, you know, how I forgave my dad and how we I relied on my siblings. You know, I go through each of my siblings and talk about a character trait that I learned from each one. And I, I think it's valuable life information to be able to pass on to people. Yeah, well, there's a reason you have three million subscribers on your YouTube channel and your book is called Dad, How Do I? Practical uh, Dad Advice, I love that, for everyday tasks and successful living. And thank you so much, Rob, for being with us today on the 700 Club. You bet, thanks for having me on.